up, YouTube? Uh, Carson here. Tonight, me, my friend, and my brother are going to be fishing Rock Lake. I got Simon Shelley along with me tonight. He was in my first ever video of pond bass fishing. Um, we're going to go over a little bit of what we're throwing tonight. My brother's not here right now, so we don't have his poles and what he's going to be throwing. But we're going to be fishing. In deeper water probably and then probably a little bit of shallower water at the end of the night we're gonna start out deep um, one of my first options I'm gonna be throwing tonight is football head jig don't remember what brand this is I got it a long time ago like last year so it's not that long ago but it's in black the rattle broke off of it that's what I hate about buying jigs with rattles never buy them they're overrated they break and they're like a dollar more. So, and then they got a chunk, gambler chunk, with a trailer on there. This is a three, four ounce spooled up, uh, 17 pound fluorocarbon suffix on a loose um, MG speed spool carbon fire. And then this is a seven foot six medium heavy Ebu Garcia Vritos, or Vritas, my bad. And then what I usually catch them on there is purple, green, black and blue. As you guys know, black and blue is my favorite color. This is purple. It's kind of a light purple. I don't know if it's going to work or not. It's super clear water. But this is 8 pound test monofilament suffix. Or maybe it's Berkeley Trilene. I'm not sure. But, um, I love throwing Senkos. <laughs> they work really well. They pop me a lot of fish. I'll probably be throwing this in like 10 to 15 feet of water, and then once you go deeper, it'll be a football jig. And then my other one, my other pole I'm going to have, I might or might not throw this. I've got a, it's a um, Daiwa Acceler, and it's got 15 pound. P-Line Floor Clear, and then it's on a Fenwick Eagle um, GT 6 foot 6 medium heavy rod. Sorry about that, guys. I'm kind of all over tonight. <laughs> First got my pole in the tree, got them tangled over there, and almost hit my cameraman with the hook. And almost did again. <laughs> Jeez. Sorry about that. And then I'm going to be throwing a... Um, 10-inch Berkeley Power Worm on this, black and blue. I don't have it rigged up right now, but if I do throw that, I'm going to be throwing it in probably like 15 feet of water, maybe 10. Maybe even in the pencil reeds we might go to. Um, this my favorite spot is, I, I might not, we had a we had a try earlier and then of this video, like the intro, and we didn't want to do that one, so we were doing it over. I don't know if I already said this in this video, but... My favorite spot in the lake, there's like 15 feet, or like 10 actually, where you want to fish, and then it goes to like 30. The weed bed's all through there, and I might throw that in the shallower parts. And then tonight we might try like, it's like 4 feet deep, eh, 2 to 4. Sometimes, on the edge it's about 5 actually, and these pencil reeds. Um, and we might go deep in there if it doesn't get too shallow, and I might throw this, or... Probably most likely the Senko. Or I might change to a lighter jig. And then... Jeez, I was tripped too. Simon's going to show you what he's got rigged up. First option tonight, catch either largemouth or smallmouth. Lake's good for both. got this watermelon worm. It's a big bite. I forget how long it is. Seven inches. Seven. Yeah, probably. It's on 10 pound fire wire braid. And I'm using 
a Daiwa ultralight pole. Simon's never fished this lake before, so hopefully we can put him on some fish tonight. And then I've got this black and blue swim jig with a Berkeley powder bait twister tail trailer. It's got a rattle and this is on 15 pound spider wire braid. And I don't know what kind of pole this is. <laughs> it's just a combo, he bought it. Where'd you buy it? Farm and fleet, baby. Alright. Hold this really quick. I put this back. Alright. Um, see you, YouTube. Uh, hopefully, tonight we'll put you on some fish. Lately, we kind of have it, but who knows? It's kind of hot tonight, so we're going to probably fish deep in the beginning. And uh, so, see ya. Sorry, guys. Um, I said see you. Like we're gonna go to the lake, but um, I forgot to say this. Um, sorry about my videos. Like, um, I only I'm filming with my iPad, and I've got a um, flip camera. Like, that's the brand, not like a flip camera, like one of those phones. <laughs> like, what? I got one here. Oh wait, never mind. I thought I did. Oh oh oh. <laughs> anyway, um, like, I'm not gonna. We're gonna, like, when I catch, like, all my previous videos have been like this, and tonight's gonna be the same. I'm trying to save up for a GoPro so I can, like, film the entire thing and get the hook sets and everything. But the only way we're gonna ever get a hook set is if we're like, oh, we got a bite, and then somebody hustles, grab the camera, and says, moment. Because, like, I don't have enough space on my iPad, and the battery's getting old, so the battery drains really fast. And, um, so I can't, like, film the entire thing. Um... But once yeah, like I said, once I go pro, I will do that. And so, sorry, my videos aren't the best they can be, but you'll still be able to see the fish and um, whatever. I got another thing to say. Follow me and my friend Simon on Instagram at uh, cnapo2. It's all lowercase, I think. <laughs> C K N A P P O two, and then Simon wants your Instagram. Um, mine is Simon Shelley five. It's S I M O N S H E L L E Y five. It's all lowercase all together. Alright, hopefully I am uh, and subscribe. Hopefully I can get some more subscribers and some more views. On my last video I got like four hundred and fifty, but that's because Mr. Tackle Box shared it. Usually I get like forty, but <laughs> um if I use my tags correctly I'll probably get more, but um I'm trying to get better at these videos and comment on them, try to get me better, but um, thanks for watching, I appreciate it. What's up, YouTube? Um, it's embarrassing. Uh, so I forgot my dad, or my iPad, my dad's truck, so we didn't get a video of any of the fish we caught. That's too bad because we caught a ton and some nice ones too. Um, <laughs> New is gonna happen. New once I forget, I'm like crap for my iPad. Um, my iPad. Now I had other words to say. <laughs> I knew we'd catch a big fish then. And here's the first picture. I caught that on purple cinco. Um, God, it looks twenty. It looks massive, but it was only eighteen. It was like five pounds. Look at that thing. I didn't. I didn't put it on a scale, so I don't know exactly. But that was easily, easily four and a half, five pounds. And then caught. I think I know seventeen. That's it looks big in the picture. Oh, here's which one is this? This is this is the same one. It's kind of embarrassing that we don't have a very good video. I mean, this would have been an awesome video. We've got so many, so much good footage. This is Simon's little one. There's like 15, I think. Oh, here's my 17. Man, that looks big. Holy crap. 
Okay. That looks so big in the picture. Mm -hmm. Dang. See, wouldn't that have been good on a video? That would have been my best video ever. God. Look at that one. Dang. Can we got some big rock bass, too. This is my rock bass. Yeah, this is a little one. Oh, it's pretty big. And then... And then my 17. And then Simon's 17. Mm -hmm. You hold it weird. You gotta, like... I know, I hold way, it like... No, you gotta get way down in there. I like, you it. barely hold it. I hold it. Yeah, sure. Holds it like a wimp. <laughs> <laughs> and then... I think we got a couple more. Is that it? That's is it. all the pictures? Mm -hmm. Well, no, we... there's some smaller ones that you caught. Oh, here's another pick in my, in my big one. Yeah. Looks massive. Oh. Um. Sorry about this. I'm just scrolling through the pictures. Even though this video is not good footage of fishing, still... Please like it and subscribe. Really appreciate it. I think I was like 15 or 14. I didn't really measure it. And then, there's Simon's sister. <laughs> Alright, show you what caught him on. So right away, I made like two casts in like four feet of water. First cast on a Cinco, you caught um, that 18. And then, and then we were going up to a bridge to fish. So I just made a couple casts. And then... I was like, I was like, I'm gonna try to like just let it sink and then slowly reel it in. Ten inch Berkey power worm. So I, excuse me, I casted it out and then let it fall. I made two cranks on my bait caster and I felt doop 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 and I caught like a 15 inch or didn't measure it. And then Simon caught all his nice ones. I caught we my five bass on this seven inch. Gary it's not seven, it's five inches. Five inch? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what? It's purple, sparkly. It's got red it's, on the side. It's got some pinkish red. Um, We've caught plenty more fish than we got just on the pictures. We didn't take pictures of, like, most of them. I never caught a fish on the football jig that fish too much. And then you caught the rest of your... I caught most... I think I caught... Yeah. I caught the rest of them on this purple pink cinco um it got ripped from one of my fish i think it was 17 it got ripped and i like fishing them when they're ripped so you just hook it through both of them and they have a ton more action um when, I, when that big one hit like first cast we go to this pull up to the spot i'm like okay i'm gonna try cinco here that's why i've always caught them on i cast it out <laughs> and i just let sink and then i went <laughs> and I went, I just went pop, pop, and then that sink, and all of a sudden I saw my line going, like, towards me, and I, it was up dead, and I started reeling it in, and then set the hook, and I'm like, oh, this is small, because it was, like, swimming towards me, and all of a sudden I'm getting it a little bit closer, and it starts running, I'm like, oh, this is a big northern, it's a big northern, because it was, because <laughs> it was, it was staying down, oh, there ain't no muskie, dad, stop it. <laughs> and then it would make it would make dives like smallmouth how they they'll like dive down and then they'll pull out a tongue drag that's what it was doing. Twelve inch yeah. perch. Yeah, it's twelve inch perch. And then, so yeah. Uh thanks for watching even though we didn't get any footage of our actual fishing and please yeah, like and please like and subscribe.